Hola mi gente, hey my people, this is Phoebe and I have a big announcement to make. So as you guys know, I have been on this journey to go to law school for quite some time now and I haven't posted a ton of videos but I have posted a few here and there just to give you a glimpse of what I've been going through. Um, but today is a big day because not only did I finish my LSAT and pass it with a decent score, which I was finally happy with, but I also applied to five different law schools. I applied to San Diego Law School. I applied to Lewis and Clark in Portland, Oregon. I applied to Seattle University in Seattle, Washington, Albany Law in Albany, New York, and Belmont Law in Nashville, Tennessee. So five different schools that are all completely different and they're all special in their own way. And I got my responses back. That's what this video is about is my reaction to all of my responses back from those universities, as well as my decision process and what school I decided to attend this fall and for the next three years of my life. So it was a big decision and I'm happy to share this with you guys and share with you guys soon why I picked what school that I picked. But I hope you guys enjoy. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a compliment. What is this? I got in. You got in. Congratulations. Woohoo! First acceptance letter. Not you didn't give it a ni nada. Huh? <laughs> um, it says, you have been selected as a recipient of the USD School of Law Merit Scholar for 2023-2024 year. The scholarship is the amount of 45000 and will be applied equally to each semester. If renewed, the total value of the scholarship over three years of law school will be 135000 Yeah, it's a law baby. It's a law Felicidades. Hey, so I'm subbing currently right now. I have like 10 more minutes on the clock, but I'm done. And today, everything's clean. So I thought I'd check my email because I got an email from Lewis and Clark. Let's see what they said. Exciting news from Lewis and Clark Law School. On behalf of the faculty, staff, and students of our admission committee, it gives me great pleasure to offer your admission to the full-time division of 2023 entering class. We are confident you will excel academically and look forward to bringing your voice and experience to our community. Congratulations, Lewis and Clark. They're offering me 38000 a year. It's not as much as San Diego, but... I got into Lewis and Clark. Uh, now I just hope I can afford it and it's worth it. <laughs> uh, that was my number one school. I'm so happy. Like, <laughs> we'll see what happens. That gives me hope for all the other ones because I think this was the hardest one to get into. But we'll see who gives me the most money and which programs are the best. Stay tuned. Okay, you guys, I'm cleaning out my mail, my Gmail, and I saw that I have one in Belmont, Seattle. Let's see. Um, Belmont. Let's see. Where is it? Belmont Law. I don't have my glasses. It's a pleasure to offer you admission to Belmont University College of Law under the regular decision process for the fall semester 2023. You have been identified as a promising and gifted candidate for a very competitive applicant pool. You will be joining an academic community of engaging faculty and alumni, as well as students with numerous talents and backgrounds. Welcome to class. Oh, 2026, the year I'll be graduating. I was like, why am I? I'm not entering then. Um, it's our pleasure to award you a scholarship. Okay, more information to come. 
the College of Law is impressed by your astounding academic record and offers you a 75 tuition reimburse, re, remission Bruin scholarship. Okay, but how much is it? It's not telling me how much is it. Okay, it just doesn't tell me how much. I got to do math. I got to do math. Belma is offering me 75% of my tuition. So 38,250. It's roughly around what Lewis and Clark is giving me. So we'll have to look, we'll have to see, we'll have to see, we'll have to see. Okay, so I got into Belmont Law in Nashville, Tennessee. Oh my goodness. How exciting. So I need to hear from Seattle and Albany still. Stay up to date. Stay tuned. Oh, it is a busy day today, but I got an email from Albany. So let's go ahead and check it out. I'm tired. It was a busy day at work. Congratulations! It is a pleasure to offer you a seat in Albany Law School, Juris Doctorate, Class of 2022. Your enrollment will begin in the fall. Okay. How much did they give me? <laughs> oh my goodness! Based upon the strength of your accomplishments, Albany Law School is pleased to offer you a Dean Scholarship Award in the amount of 50000 per academic year. That's the most any school has given me. I need to see how much Albany costs to attend because they're offering me the most thus far. But I got in and I got 50000 per year. Yeah, four out of five schools thus far. How exciting. I still need to hear from Seattle though. Wish me luck. So, first up, I lost my voice after a month of dealing with fifth graders. I didn't get the reaction of Seattle. I honestly thought they had forgotten about me and I was just never going to hear back from them. But I was looking through my emails, talking to my mom, and I saw something. I thought it was Albany Law because I thought I had made my decision already. But plot twist, it gets thicker. Seattle University has accepted me. I have officially received acceptance from all five of the universities I applied to. And to make matters even better, I got a full ride for tuition. So at this moment, I am debating whether or not to go to Albany or Seattle because they are fairly similar in price and they are both doable financially. So we'll see. It is April 8th. It's been a while since I made my decision. However, I have been sick for like the past month and it's been annoying, but I know I can't keep you guys waiting and I'm excited to share what I'll be going this August. This decision was really difficult for me. In the end, my top two schools were Albany and Seattle. Um, like I said, my decisions were all over the place. I did a step to Albany for a while and I paid my deposit um, because they were offering me the most money and just made the most financial sense. Uh, however, I felt an unease in my heart and I was just like, <clears throat> I don't know. Um, and God was teaching me that I need to wait and be patient. And he was correct because that next day after I had accepted Albany, I got my response from Seattle. I thought Seattle had forgotten about me and they gave me 100% tuition covered for all three years as long as I maintain a ranking in the university. So I was really excited and stoked. But then I had another decision to make. Was it Seattle or was it Albany? And I knew it was between those two. So I started denying my other schools because I was like, at the end of the day, I can't financially afford to go to San Diego or Lewis and Clark or Belmont. So I decided not to go there. And 
Um, then I was contemplating the two schools, but then next thing I know, God opened yet another door and Belmont retracted their offer and offered me an even better one. They had offered me 75% tuition covered and they, after I declined them, they said, you know what, we really want you. I want, we want to offer you 100% tuition covered. So then I was like, okay, it's definitely between Seattle and Belmont in Nashville, Tennessee. And it was a real big decision for me. I had to go ahead and <clears throat> weigh in the cost of living, the environment that I'd be living in, the cities, and looking in the areas because at the end of the day, this is a place where, yes, I'll spend three years in, but there's always a possibility that I might not move back to California or that I might stay out there. So I really had to look at things long term and look at the programs. And in the end, um, Belmont was my second top ranking school overall in all the schools that I applied to and, and then I decided to go to Belmont University. So I will be in Nashville, Tennessee this fall. I'll be moving out in August and <clears throat> I'm excited and I hope to keep you guys updated. So I'll be going to Belmont Law. I'm officially a Bruins and I'm beginning preparing for all that. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all this. There's a lot of things that went into my decision throughout the whole process of applying to law school and figuring out what schools I'm gonna to apply to and deciding my final school. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, let me know. Bye-bye.